that woman is shaking wherever she is. So I creep. Yeah, I've been creeping on my nodding. <laughs> I don't know how a fugitive can dress up like this. Where is the fugitive going to? Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Chantel here. If you just see me for the first time, thank you for joining today. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Also turn on your bell notification icon so you're notified each time I post new content on here. Alright, thank you. Filming setup because PHED have done what they are notorious for, so I had to come and film in the car. I hope you can hear me clearly and I hope it works. So, I put up a post on my YouTube community and also on my Instagram a poll actually asking y'all to let me know which fashion roast you'd like to see today between Blood Sisters premiere and Real Housewives of Lagos episode 6. Most of you went with Blood Sisters premiere which I wanted to do to be honest because I am tired of Real Housewives of Lagos but that story for another day so today I'll be roasting the guests that attended Blood Sisters premiere. Blood Sisters is a trending series on Netflix and um, yeah I think it's a very brilliant series I really enjoyed it I love the twists and turns if you haven't seen it go and check them out on Netflix all right yeah, the dress code was red and fugitive before we move on I want us to define the words red and fugitive so that would just give us an idea of what the guests were supposed to look like also to make sure that you and I are on the same page when I start roasting okay yeah the word <laughs> fugitive is defined as a person who has escaped from captivity or is in hiding the word red is red red is a color right using my dictionary here it defines red as a color at the end of the spectrum next to orange and opposite violet as of blood fire or rubies yeah you already knew so that. merging both together i would say that the guests were supposed to look like those that are running away people that are escaping but wearing red that's my own understanding let me know if you have any other in the comment section yeah, referring to that i think that someone who is in hiding someone who is on the run someone who is escaping would definitely opt for something comfortable something not really dressy fashion is the last thing on your mind so you just want to get out of where you are i hope that i explained that well this is just from where i'm standing so the first on my list is the madam of ebony life tv mo abudu she done this leather look red dress it's an ankle length dress with balloon sleeves and um, a sweetheart neckline did she go with the team no obviously not can you run and escape in this type of dress no can you be in hiding and dress up like this nah -uh. i don't know why there's always a problem with nigerians following things if you know you cannot follow it then don't put it in the first place i would have preferred that they just put red as the thing red and fugitive how many people can follow through with it i always mention this in my fashion rules that nigerians like to bring it we don't know what simple is simplicity is not part of our dictionary so for you to say red and fugitive somebody would dress like they are going to the ball and say they are fugitives i don't think mohabudu's dress was in tune with the theme at all she looks beautiful it looks nice on her but nah -uh, not in tune with the theme not in line with the theme because i'm roasting based on the theme i would give her a 4 out of 10. The next person on my list is Uche Jumbo. Actually, I think that she's one of the very few that went with the theme. You can see her t-shirt. It has like blood smears on it. She has on leggings and boots and her hair is all ruffled up and she has bandana. This is close to what someone who is running will look like. You're not thinking of fashion at that moment. You just want to be safe, right? And I think she went with it. I don't think she would have used the necklace because that's overthinking it. So far, I think that she's the only female that that went with the theme and I will give her an 8 out of 10 for this look. Nancy is seem a beautiful Nancy. She's one of the headliners of the series and she did such a brilliant job. Nancy Isime was dressed by Medlin Boss and um, she's wearing a jumpsuit, a black and red jumpsuit with bandana on her head and black patent leather boots with handcuff as an accessory. I think that they had the idea at the back of their head but the execution is not quite there. I'm not mad at it though. I don't think that she went so far off when it comes to the theme. So I will give this look 
a 7 out of 10. I love that she has like the graffiti behind Blood Sisters. She looks beautiful but not so in tune with the theme. Although she's really close, very close. The next person is Inidima Okoje. This one came to do fashion shows here. And on her post, the funny thing is that on her post, she even said, if I was ever on the run, best believe I'll do it in style. Nah, nah, sis, you're not going to do it in style. You won't even think of style. On this cohort set, a red cohort set and glasses with red heels, hair well done, everything. How does she think that she can pull off this look while on the run? <laughs> I feel like she just wanted to make herself believe that she was in tune with the thing but i'm here to break it to you that nah -ah. you went south when it comes to the theme and i'll be giving her a four out of ten there's nothing red and fugitive about this this look mm -mm. nah mm -mm -mm -mm. next is genoviva who made new face she gave it her all her acting was top notch i really loved it but her look has nothing to do with red and fugitive she's just wearing a red dinner dress with open back makeup on point hair is beautiful jewelries everything is on point that's if it wasn't a red and fugitive theme she just bring in red and i would give her a five out of ten next is my friend in my head <laughs> Lala. Lala is wearing this cohort set with um, splashes of course like a newspaper print and she has on sneakers and a red um, top or corset. I like her look even though it wasn't theme appropriate but she looks good. I will give Lala my friend 5 out of 10. It's Adesua Banki Wellington. Adesua you see Catwoman eh? She has nothing on you. Catwoman is shaking wherever she is. What's going on here? <laughs> wow 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 the cat suit would have just been okay but what is this net thing it's looking like remnant from that um kimono she wore for undeniably years this look is a nah -ah. there's nothing red and fugitive about this no unless you're a superhero who is a fugitive maybe that's that's the angle she's coming from the fit of it no please no <laughs> i'm going to give her a six out of ten just because i thought of this idea in my head that maybe she's a fugitive that is also a superhero um the next person is ecuador nothing about this is red and fugitive nothing this is just a cute red dress with um tie details it has like cut out details as well she looks fresh she looks beautiful but not in tune with the theme so i will give her a four out of ten then ola gray is next red and fugitive wear doesn't give me the theme he has gloves he has like a sheer top he has jacket he has glasses he has big ring he has a big what he has a lot going on here his fashion is quite queer not a lot of people can understand his fashion sense as far as this theme is concerned he brought nothing he brought nothing and i would give him a four out of ten he has good courage though next person is dala oruwari gosh little red riding hood is here um i don't even know he has mesh she has corset she has net she has gloves she has leather she has satin everything is just going on but nothing is bringing the thing i mean i can't overemphasize this word there is nothing about it let's just move on from this because it's giving me headache already and i don't know what else to say <laughs> ramsey noah this is red and fugitive yoruba I don't know how a fugitive can dress up like this. Where is the fugitive going to? I love the ashoke. I love the black. Everything looks good for me except the shoes. I don't know why he opted for red shoes. Does he go with the theme? Nah. And uh, I'm going to rate him a 5 out of 10. Yeah. Sharon Uja, obviously not in tune with the theme. He has on this sheer pants with jacket and... A crop top underneath a bralette actually underneath with pink accessories she looks beautiful i love her choice of lipstick i will give her a five out of ten okay tension is next she's wearing a cohort set with a net top underneath in tune with the theme again no i will give kate henshaw Ugh. A 6 out of 10 for this look okay in the bank is next she reminds me of tlc so i creep yeah i've been creeping on my nodding <laughs> this look i don't get it man the boots the aladdin shorts the 
is it a jumpsuit or a two-piece it's looking like a jumpsuit with cut out details there's nothing red and fugitive to me so i will give kain the a six out of ten for the boots yeah because a fugitive will most likely wear boots to run <laughs> me analyzing please yes, Deremi, the actor that's his instagram handle but i think his name is Deremi. Deremi has on a track suit and i think this is red and fugitive appropriate because it's quite comfy it can let you run you're just trying to disguise your look it has a hood he also paired it with sneakers he looks very comfy he looks like he's about to run i would give him an eight out of ten red it's comfortable it's definitely what someone who wants to run away will opt for yeah, it's him. F Young, on the other hand, nah, nah, no, no, I'm tr no. <laughs> I will give this look. <sighs> okay, he has leather, he has satin, and his glasses. A lot of things are just going on here. I will give him a four out of ten. Hmm? That's my rating for him. Next is Tommy Care. Everyone's sweetheart. Tomika was the host on the one of the hosts on the red carpet. She wore this one shoulder beaded dress paired it with gold sandals. I love her choice of hair. I love jewelry. She looks classy but definitely not in tune with the theme. So I would give her a five out of ten. The last female on my list is Wofai Father. Wofai Father wore this red corset dress with bold detail and sneakers i love the fact that she opted for sneakers because it seems quite comfy but the dress on its own is definitely not something a fugitive will rock but because of the sneakers i will just give her a six out of ten gabriel afolayan is the last person and also the last guy he did not even put in any efforts maybe he was coming from somewhere so let me just stop by the ad movie premiere of the movie i starred in let me just stop by. There's nothing red. There's nothing fugitive about the look. He just wore black. Self. It's almost like he's telling us, you people should just go sit down one place with this dry thing because I cannot even do it. I'm not bringing anything. I'm going to give him two out of ten just because he showed up. Next is the award ceremony. <laughs> In the female category, best dress for me, that's the person that went with the theme, is Uche Jumbo. I think that she went all out with the theme and I'm happy that at least one person followed the theme. In the male category, I will give it to Dayemi. Dayemi stuck with the theme as well and he's my best dress for the Blood Sisters movie premiere. Worst dress female, I would give it to Genoveva Ome, just because you can't even run in this like it's too dressy to be a fugitive ootd what's dress male for me has got to be gabriel apolaya nothing he didn't bring anything to the red carpet yeah and we're roasting him for that you guys let me know who your favorite and your worst was in the comment section and if you think that i did not see what the theme really was about based on my own definition let me know in the comment section as well always here for your feedbacks and i really like to hear where you're coming from if i wait and it makes a lot of sense definitely i would let you know in the comment section just let me know constructively okay thank you all so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and stay tuned for sunday's video we are going to be roasting the amvca the african movie viewers choice awards it's airing on saturday and i can't wait to see what the celebrities are going to wear if you come across pictures and videos of attendees that you'd like me to roast or talk about their outfit please share it on my instagram i will leave it on the screen so that it makes the job easier thank you all so much again for watching subscribe if you haven't already i will see you guys in my next one i Bye. got this picture in my closet it's gathering dust right now and the edges have been folded once or twice